We begin with Dana Howard. <coughs> East St. Louis High School is a storied history in athletics, a list of superb athletes who played for the Flyers. It's long and impressive. Homer Bush, Brian Cox, Don Harper, Jackie John Kersey, Darius Miles, Callan Winslow, and of course, Dana Howard. At an early age, Dana knew what he wanted. He also knew that in order to be the best, he'd have to play football at a higher level than most. It wasn't easy because he was cut in junior high school by the coach. But given a second chance, he took advantage of it. A successful high school career got scholarship offers from a number of universities, including Michigan, Oklahoma, Illinois. He stayed home and went to Illinois. To say he excelled with the Illini is an understatement. In those days, Illinois was called Linebacker University. He played alongside the likes of Simeon Rice and Kevin Hardy. Dana Howard liked to hit and tackle. He had at least 100 tackles in every season. This man was a tackling machine. Finished his Illini career with 595 tackles. He was a consensus All-American in 1993 and 1994. As a senior, he was the first Illinois player to win the prestigious Dick Butkus Award and was also won the Jack Lambert Award given to the top college linebacker. As far as the pros, the only rap against him was his size. He was six foot tall, not the prototypical NFL linebacker. Dallas took him in the fifth round. He eventually played 16 games with the St. Louis Rams and some of the Chicago and some with Chicago Bears. And he played some with the Bears, but an injured hand shortened that season and his NFL career. But the Illini coach Lovey Smith recently said, everybody remembers Dana Howard. So we are to also tonight inducting this tackling machine, Dana Howard, into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Dana, come on up. Wireless microphones for you guys. So grab a mic. Randy Carricker is here to do that interview. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, let's start with playing at East St. Louis. And when you played at East St. Louis under Bob Shannon, everybody in this room remembers how dominant the program was. What was it like to, to walk into that program with as prolific as it was? Well, it was a little scary because you had to live up to what the guys prior to you had done. So, I mean, not just, you know, guys a couple years prior to, but we're talking about the Kellen Winslow and the older guys after prior to that. So it was a little scary. And it had to be something to be on a team that was that dominant too. When, when you look back and appreciate what your team was able to accomplish, what do you remember most? Um, well, obviously being uh, high school national champions. Mm -hmm. So we were mythically the uh, best high school team in the nation. But it wasn't mythical because everybody knows that you guys were well, the best, right? Well, we were. <laughs> you gotta be a little humble. You gotta be humble. Yeah. So you move on to Illinois, and uh, as Ron mentioned, you played with a great group of players there, too. Uh, Simeon Rice and Kevin Hardy and, and uh, Holosek. You, you had quite a team there, especially a defense at Illinois, didn't you? We did. We did. We uh, just a bunch of guys who uh, wanted to get better and wanted to be better. And, uh, that they wanted to take it to the next level, and so we raised everyone else's uh, life. You think, Dana, about putting it in perspective, the fact that this is a school that produced people like Dick Buckus and people like Whitney Merciless recently, and like Hardy and Rice, and there's Dana Howard atop the all-time tackles record at Illinois, even now. Uh, what's that make you think? That I was running around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. I mean, it was cool. I mean, it's just something, I, it's something that I just did because that's what I wanted to do. I love running, tackling, and hitting people. That's why I didn't play offense. <laughs> and, and when you're with the group, like you said, at East St. Louis, the, the people that came before you, the people that you played with, lift your level. How did the guys that you played with at Illinois lift your level? Well, I think it was more so because I came from East St. Louis. Um, the city and from the school that I, all I knew was winning. So when I got there, that's all I knew. So I couldn't take losing. So when we lost, it just fueled a fire in me more and more. And I, I would let them have it. Like, I'm, I'm not used to this. I ain't used to this. So y'all got to either get on board or get gone. <laughs> when you went to Illinois, 
Did they talk much about Dick Buckus and you became the first Illinois player to win the Buckus Award? How much did that mean to you? Well, I mean, I mean it meant a great deal. I mean, I, I really didn't know that I was the first player to ever win a major award at the university period. And uh, when they told me, I was like, really? You're a, a school uh, as prestigious as this? And I'm the first guy to do it? So that was, that meant a lot. Yeah, and especially with him being Oh, no doubt, no, no doubt. I mean, obviously, the linebacker you, Dick Buckus is from the university, not to mention, uh, um, oh, I forget his name, Green Bay, uh, Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke, right. Ray Nitschke, yes. So you, uh, as Ron mentioned, you got drafted by the Cowboys, but you wind up here in St. Louis playing with the Rams. Yeah, I, I played two years here at the Rams, two years in Chicago, some games with the Eagles. Went to uh, Amsterdam, played some games over there. That's another story for another day. Uh, <laughs> you can tell us an Amsterdam story. Go ahead. This is a family show. Right? <laughs> Uh, and let's touch on how much of a kick it is. Here's an East St. Louis kid that gets to play in the NFL with what became, in their first year, a team in your hometown. Right. Well, it was really, it was cool, but at the same time, everybody's, everybody's all, all of a sudden your, your, your cousin, your family, everybody, everybody has to be at the game, so it, it's kind of a headache more than, more than fun. You're still in the area, you're in business in the area, thinking about where you came from, the city of East St. Louis, from East St. Louis football. How much pride do you take in looking where you are now and where, where you came from? I mean, I wouldn't change it for none in the world. It may, it may be the person who I am. Awesome. Hey, congratulations and welcome to the St. Louis Football Thank you. Can stay there. Greg. We'll have the plaque presentation.